Hello all, welcome to the video series German for Beginners. Today we'll be talking about the topic supermarket. So a few words before the series before uh, we start with the topic. So this video series German for Beginners, uh, the intention is to uh, is to explain the key vocabulary about different themes relevant for, for your day-to-day -day life in Germany uh, with support of visual aids and explanation and how to use them in different scenarios. For whom? So these are basically, this is basically designed for people who are beginners in Germany, so especially expats in Germany who are here for a short period or longer period of time or even planning to visit Germany. And for people who are learning German or beginners in German. Why? So German, of course, in your first uh, duration of stay in Germany, it could be difficult to learn quickly through the traditional German courses and you might need to encounter a special situation where you need to know minimum vocabulary about several topics and of course it need, you need you should be able to connect uh, the uh, words that you learn with the real world scenarios and situations and sometimes especially in the in the conversations it's difficult to catch key keywords during conversations if you're not sure how is it pronounced correctly so this is the intention to create this video to give you a first impression about the key vocabulary that you should know, uh, especially when you're living in Germany, about different topics. How to use it? So use this video to watch and note the vocabulary that you see in this video. So of course, not everything is included in this video, but the key vocabulary that you, based on uh, personal experiences and uh, information, recommendations and lessons learned from others who have faced a similar situation, this video is prepared based on that inputs. And also, whenever necessary, feel free to pause video and search for words to find uh, images and uh, other related videos that you can explore more details about the words and vocabulary that you learn in this video. With that, let's start. So uh, in this topic, let's start with some common words that you see in the uh, context of uh, supermarket. So common terms. So das Warenregal. So this is the image here. So this in English means shelf. So in white colors, you see the German word and in gray, you see how it is uh, pronounced in English. And in, in the below section, you'll see the, the English meaning of that word. Der Einkaufwagen, this means shopping wagon, or the shopping cart that you see in the image here. Der Henkel, handle, Einkaufchip. So this is the chip or coin that you use to release this uh, Einkaufwagen by uh, pushing it through this uh, handle. Continuing with common terms, they are cashier. So this is the cashier who is uh, supporting you with the billing at the counter. Das Laufband. So that's the conveyor belt through which the items will move towards the counter. Die Kasse, cash counter. Der Einkaufkorb, shopping basket. Der Kassenbon, der Kassensettel. So this it means the same. So this is the receipt that you receive from the counter. The Lebensmittel, groceries. Their scanner. This is as also in English, scanner, which is used to scan objects. So in, even when you are using uh, the self-service uh, counters, this is where you have to use this, uh, to scan objects. The strich code. This is the barcode. So in, and some common words that you normally see in supermarket, angerboard, this means offer. In, in, uh, it could also mean quotation or special offer. Action price, the offer price or special price. Billig or billiger, this means cheap or cheaper. It, uh, günstig, günstiger means also the same. Near fear cure means only for a short period of time, which is uh, therefore, which means it's a special offer. Top price is also as it sounds in English, top price. In the next section, we go to the payment options. So payment, knowing the payment options and how to communicate the right uh, question or is very important in almost all scenarios when you are in Germany, not only in supermarket. So in German, Bargeld means cash in English. In German, Itzekarte means debit card in English. Kreditkarte means credit card. And digitale Geldbörse means the digital wallet. So some common dialogue that you might encounter, especially at the cash counter. If you want to ask, can I pay by cash or card? You can ask, kann ich mit Bargeld oder Karte bezahlen? 
do you accept credit card acceptance credit card where is nearest atm wo befindet sich der nächste geld automat can i use wireless payment kann ich kabellos bezahlen does it include service charge pay ein handelt der preis auch the service gebühr so these are some of the common conversation that you might have especially when you are dealing uh, at the counter and in your during your first days in germany now we move on with the next section this is about different sections that you see in a supermarket so especially if you want to if you are look, looking for something particular you should be knowing these terms so that you can find the item easily the first one is the backwaren so this means bakery the milch produkte the dairy products the getreide flocken this means cereals the conserven means the canned food the sous waren is confectionery das gemüse means vegetables das obst means fruits das fleisch means meat das geflügel means poultry der fish is also as it sounds in english fish the fine cost means delicacies in english the gefria ware so these are the frozen food the fertig gerichte so these are convenience food or ready to cook food that you find the getränke drinks the haushaltswaren household products the toiletten article toiletries the baby produkte baby products the electro article electrical goods das tier futter pet foods the site shriften magazines so in the next section is again common dialogues that you might encounter in especially in the scenario of uh, in supermarket so commonly used questions so are you working here are by ten see here where can i find milk wo kann ich milch finden can i ask a question kann ich etwas fragen how much does it cost we feel costed us i am looking for cheese where can i find it ich bin auf der suche nach käse wo kann ich es finden where can i make my payment wo kann ich zahlen can i pay by card or can i pay by cash kann ich mit karte bezahlen oder or kann ich bar bezahlen and finally and most importantly thanks for your support vielen dank für ihre unterstützung so with that uh, that's the end of this video i hope it was helpful if you find it helpful please please subscribe share and also comment for topics that you like to learn in the future uh, i'll try to implement those topics based on your request uh, as quickly as possible thank you